Concerned citizens, Britain today is suffering from a hidden epidemic. This is Ben. And although he may look normal, under the surface he holds a dark secret. For Ben is amongst a rising number of Her Majesty's subjects who are, in fact, numpties. Numpties are characterised by their vacant stare, gormless grins, and particularly their inability to perform tasks in the correct order, as shown by the position of Ben's pants. Now, let's follow the numpty to see what he does. His day starts as any good British man, with his ablutions and a cleanly shaved chin. Watch as he first applies his deodorant, making sure to get into all of those corners where nasty smells might lurk. After this, observing stubble, he reaches for his shaving cream. But wait, that is deodorant. So what was that under your arm? Oh, Ben. So starts the day of the numpty. After shaving, Ben goes downstairs to make a nice cup of tea to fortify himself for the day ahead. Unfortunately, he fails to make the cup his starting point for the tea bag, instead believing the mouth to be a better place. Proceedings go swiftly downhill from there. Sometimes minor burns are received, which of course are nature's way of chastising the numpty, to which he pays no heed. Eventually, the cup is introduced, though far too late in the order of events to be of any use. Such is Ben's disorder that, sadly, he has never managed to drink a cup of tea. Having failed at breakfast, he now attempts the challenge of driving to work. Oh dear. The numpty decides to travel to work before getting into the car. Silly Ben. After work, the numpty often goes shopping. This, however, does not rise from a sense of civic duty that every good capitalist should hold, but is mainly due to their tendency to leave shops before picking up their bags. Watch here, as Ben breaks yet another cardinal rule of shopping. Eating goods before purchase, completely opposite to the natural order of things. Also, members of the public beware. Numptyism is contagious. Observe this woman. She appears normal. She is a regular member of the Women's Institute, and subscribes to Good Housekeeping magazine. But later, she was found in a field attempting to gnaw on a sheep, claiming she was just preparing dinner. She was never allowed back to the W.I. Finally, after a string of epic fails, our numpty seeks solace in a relaxing shower, though even here he cannot escape being a numpty. Forgotten to take off your clothes, haven't you, Ben? So remember, put first things first. Don't be like Ben. Don't be a numpty.